Welcome to Summer Awesome Games, my name is Rob. We are playing Hitman 3, and we are going to uh, use an explosive golf ball. So, we're starting with this guard outfit. If you haven't seen how to get this, I recommend watching our Icarus Guide, Reunite Guide, and you'll learn how to get this. Right here is a crowbar, pick it up, and you'll be happy later on, okay? We already have it, but you pick it up. Now, of course, you can start later in this you can start in different you can start as a crew member you can start in the penthouse already if you want but we're running through this as if you haven't really played that much this might be the first one you're going for the only thing you'd have to check on is how to get to this guy and grab his outfit now we took that guy out we need his maintenance outfit we're gonna put him into the little closet here and we're gonna grab that key now, if you miss that key for whatever reason, which would make no sense because you're watching this guide, we grab a maintenance key. Cha-ching! We're going to run through the server room and then down the maintenance hallway, and in there will be a lady on the telephone. She's the one who informs us where the explosive golf ball is. You can take her out and you can get the key off her, but don't take her out right away. you got to take out her friend first, because he'll see it. Then you can take her out and get the key. So he also has a uh, server uh, key card, which you can use to do the server stuff. Now we're in the same hallway we're just in. I know that jumped, but literally just keep running down and you'll be where we are. So this is a lady that was on the phone. Once she's done on the conversation, she'll go down there. You don't need to do this because you have the maintenance key. But just in case you missed it, she has one. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to open this. Ta-da! In here is the explosive golf ball. And we're going to use this to blow up uh, a very angry Carl. We're going to make him super duper mad. He's not going to be a happy guy. We climb up this little hatch. Put the golf ball in the bucket of golf balls. And we are good to go. Now, we can't go inside there because they don't like us. The guards in there do not like maintenance people. I guess unless a maintenance person has been called. But they're not friendly towards us. So what we need to do is uh, go down this way. And hopefully you picked up crowbar. I know I didn't pick it up in this, but I told you it was, because we're gonna need it. We're gonna take the crowbar, we're gonna bust in to a room illegally, or if you don't have the crowbar, when we exit this door, you can go left, there's a little security office, which has a penthouse key card. You can easily run in there and grab it without anyone seeing you. But we're gonna go here, and we're just gonna bust this door open. Of course, you could probably even climb up there if you wanted to. Grab our crowbar, cha-ching, boom. Up here is a servant man whose outfit we're gonna swap for. We're gonna knock him out, take his outfit, and then we're gonna be a servant, and we're going to annoy Carl. Carl does not like noises. He gets very angry at people making noises. So he would not like me at all. But we're gonna take this guy's disguise. Oh, well, it's a disguise for us. It's just his normal clothes, his work outfit. And then, we're going to drag him to the box, if you want. Come on, buddy. There we go. I'm going to put him in this little freezer box for later. Save him for later. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, Alright, now we're set. Good place to make a save, because you could stuff this up, okay? That's my advice. Now, now that you're saved, we're going to go back out the door we came. And we're going to go annoy Carl. So we're going to go downstairs. There are a few people that don't like us, like this lady. We're gonna deal with her, okay? We need these guys to go first. So we're gonna stand near them, get their conversation initiated, and move them along before we get this conversation initiated and she goes and cleans the clock and stuff, or the radio. We're gonna take out both people in that room, along with another maintenance worker, just so we can safely turn the radio on without anyone being like, Oi, dickhead! Don't touch that. Are you stupid? And then things going bad. So we wait. We patiently wait. Carl will be coming soon. There he is. You can see him. He's, we've got some time. He's laying on the balcony. He's chilling out. That guy will knock out as well. And we got time. All right. So those two guys should be leaving. Now they're looking the other way. We'll take out this happy lady who will ruin all our plans. And then we're going to drag her out this little door over here, which you might not have noticed. There's a door here. Look at that. 
There's also a maintenance man in there, but luckily he's looking the other way, so we can uh, deal with him, because we don't want him spotting these bodies getting dragged in here. So we go, hey buddy, have a little nap, just for like, I don't know, five more minutes or something, and then we're done. Move her out the way, just in case the door is open when Carl comes in, there's a higher chance of that happening. But I don't think he sees her anyway, but just in case, you don't want to be that person that finds out. We grab one of these eggs. And then we're going to feed our friend here, in the back of the head with one. Don't worry about that guy. He doesn't seem to care. Make sure you pick up his stuff. If you do not pick up his stuff, then... Oh, Carl comes in, he's like, why are the guns lying around? What kind of shindig is this, man? He's stupid. So he's on his way. We're just going to tuck him in here. Have a nap, just in time. Ding, ding, ding. Now we're the only person in this room along with Carl and his guards, who will not be looking at us. The radio is here. You can also get a double whammy here by interrupting Carl while he's on his dictaphone, while he's making his uh, audio notes. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, like a crazy person in a room by myself on a 42 degree day. It is hot. All right, so who's start crapping on? So you can get your double whammy here. Wait a little bit, wait a couple sentences in. You interrupt him too early, it doesn't seem to trigger. So wait a little bit. And then like, now-ish is pretty good. You can start it up, turn the radio on. Then we're gonna walk away from it because if the radio comes on and we're standing next to it, I mean, we look, it's pretty guilty. We look pretty guilty. Now he's mad. You should get the feet for ticking him off. Interrupting him while he's on his dictaphone. Now he's mad. He's angry. He's yelling at people. Damn, he's a mad guy. Alright, so we've got to annoy him one more time. So, he's going to head upstairs. We're going to go upstairs. There's a vacuum cleaner right next to his bedroom, I think it is. Or guest room, or... God, this isn't his house, he's just, he's a guest. So we're gonna go up there. We're going to deal with one of the uh, servants who might give us up. Not that lady, she's fine. This guy, this guy, this guy sucks, all right? He sucks, trust me. So we're gonna follow him into the bathroom. Not because he sucks, not in any like, this is a sexual thing. We're just gonna follow him into the bathroom. And take him out. And then cram him in a basket. Hey, like that, man. This conveniently placed basket is like it was made for you. Okie dokie. Now, no one will see us. Switch on the vacuum cleaner. And that's it. Oh, you're done. You are done. He's so mad. He's not happy. Double whammy. He's ticked off. Now he's gonna go play golf. And we've already set up the golf ball. It's gonna blow him up as soon as he hits it. So that's it. You can watch the rest or you can go do it yourself. There's our uh, happy little feet for ticking him off on his dictaphone. And now we let the uh, explosion do its work. So thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Drop a like, show the subscribe. Enjoy the end if you're following through to watch how it all unfolds, to make sure it unfolds. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're playing it and it doesn't happen. And you're like, what the hell? Keep watching and you'll see how it happens. Maybe don't shoot everybody. Maybe don't go bananas. Maybe don't bump bodyguards or something. I don't know what you did. But that's how you do it. Explosive golf ball. Congratulations and goodbye.
We got them. 47. Soon there will be no more problems. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. <laughs>